Well, tonight statewide, almost one in five third graders are still struggling to read. That's according to the results of this year's I read test for Indiana students. Here in Marion County, IPS saw the scores drop more than 2%, but most Marion County school districts say they saw an increase in their scores. Tonight, Karen Campbell is in studio tonight to share how other districts are faring. These are really important numbers, aren't they, Karen? Yeah, they are, especially for the third graders who mm -hmm. live in Indiana. So we know the biggest increase was in Warren Township, and that was an increase of 5%. Now, the worst was in Speedway. Those scores fell by nearly 4%. Now, I spoke with one school leader at Circle City Prep who shares how third graders there managed to excel. So close. Pencils and homes. Students at Circle City Prep. Skyler, what was the message that you took from this uh, artwork? Are taking learning to new heights. If we can get a 20% increase in one academic year, then I know that using science and reading research, other schools can do that as well because our kids deserve it. Sammy Hyde is the assistant school leader of academics of Circle City Prep. What makes you say it's beautiful? A K-7 charter school on the far east side of Indianapolis. Students who took the I-Read test scores at the fairly new school have shown signs of proficiency. And I specifically say proficiency because a lot of people are like 20% growth is great, but 20% more of the students at our school were uh, meeting or exceeding their I Read 3 standards last year. Schools have implemented what's called the science of reading to help students progress. The problem with the buzzword science of reading is that the science of reading is actually a huge body of research and it is about reading and how kids learn to read. It is not the science of teaching reading. Hyde says that looks like teaching kids phonics, how to decode and encode letters and more handwriting for starters. But the more that we learn, the more we try to have more systemic, direct curriculum that rolls things out to children in a way that they can understand and they can replicate. And Hyde also says the state of Indiana has allowed the school to administer the IDRI test, get this, to second graders. So just another uh, step there that that school has taken to help kids become more proficient. Certainly. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. we all know the importance of early education. Yeah. Starts definitely. way before third grade. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Karen. Welcome.